good morning children welcome back to online class history class so i am teaching that uh, fourth lesson is the continuation today okay so the topic is the world after world war 2 the world after world war 2 under this lesson what are the things i taught like uh, in the sense uh, under the 4.1 is under the 4.1 chinese revolution is under the uh, 4.1 chinese revolution i taught is a Chinese uh, revolution which year it was occurred in the sense 1911 it was occurred okay 1911 is yes, under that you know regarding uh, Ma Zedong, Dr. Sun Yat-sen, yes uh, then uh, Chu In Lai, yes Yuan Shike, yes those personalities and all I explained okay children yes so under that 4.2 uh, what are the things I explained in the sense uh, Cold War yes so Cold War between United States of America and the Union Soviet Socialist Republic that is Russia. Okay, so regarding that, I told. Uh, then I explained. Then uh, Truman's policy, policy of uh, you know containment of communism. Okay, so that Marshall Plan I explained. Under that 4.3, you know many uh, you know that military alliances. Okay, many military alliances, many, many military alliances in the sense of NATO. I explained. Is it children? Yes, a NATO North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I explained. Then. Uh, CETO, CETO in the sense, uh, what is the meaning? Manila Pact, Manila Pact I explained, is it? Manila Pact I explained, then, uh, you know, Manila Pact I explained, then uh, in the year 1954, like that I explained, I think so, CETO, then, you know, Warsaw Pact, Warsaw Pact, you know, whose pact in the sense, Russian Pact, okay, against the uh, United States of America, then, uh, you know, what I explained in the sense, CENTO, is a central treaty organization, otherwise called as, uh, Baghdad Pact, like the uh, Baghdad Pact, like that I explained in the year 1955, is it? So under these are the military alliances which is given under that 4.3. Okay. So under that 4.4, what is given in the sense Korean War? Yes. So the Korean War uh, explained, I think. So yes, North Korea and South Korea. Then moreover, third world countries, third world countries in the sense uh, capitalist countries uh, known as uh, first world countries, that is United States of America. Second one of the communist countries. Yes, communist countries are called as uh, second world countries. Okay, so that is uh, the next one. You know, third world countries who are they in the sense those who are following the non-alignment policy. Yes, they were known as uh, third world countries like that I said. Is it children? Yes. The next one, you know, under that 4.5, uh, you know, our country is yes, India. You know, it's following non-alignment policy, non-alignment movement. So, who are they? Yes, uh, Yugoslavia. Yes, some countries are there. Yes, it is Yugoslavia, India. Yes, uh, then Egypt, in Ghana. Yes, Indonesia. Those countries, they were following the policy of non-alignment. Yes, such a way I explained. Then under that 4.6, you know, Cuban revolution. Yes, a Cuban missile crisis and all. I explained under that only Fidel Castro we learned. Is it? Then uh, under that 4.7, Arab-Israeli war, yes, Arab-Israeli war, uh, Suez Canal crisis, those things and all I explained, Arab-Israeli war in the year 1973 till that, uh, you know, uh, I explained, I think so. Then uh, today, I am going to teach about that 4.8, uh, you know, that uh, Vietnam war, Vietnam war, is Vietnam war and then uh, 4.9, it is given, you know, European economic community is European economic community. So those things that I am going to explain children today 4.8 as well as 4.9. You can take your book all of you. Uh, yes, uh, page number 47. You can take it children. Okay. This is not a essay Vietnam war but uh, you know essay you know it's uh, you know 4.9 is the essay. So you should uh, learn. Okay. So that answer. Okay children. Okay. Under that 4.8 what are the things are given I am going to tell children. You can take your book all of you. Vietnam War, yes, sir. so after the completion of the Second World War, here it is given by the uh, end of the Second World War, like that it is given, yes, when it was over, Second World War, 1945, it was over, yes, so after the completion of the Second World War, I told already, yes, uh, you know, two superpowers emerged, yes, after the completion of the Second World War, two superpowers emerged, yes, uh, who are they in the sense, United States of America as well as Russia, yes, so the two of them, you know, in between them, you know, Cold War started after the completion of the World War. Cold War, what is the meaning in the sense? They never ever waged war. Okay, they never ever take weapons, but ideologically, socially, politically, they had a difference of opinion. Yes, that is called as Cold War. Okay, so Cold War also, it was there. So that time only, which war was uh, happened, which war was occurred in the sense, Vietnam War. 
is vietnam war nearly 20 years it was occurred okay nearly 20 years it was occurred children yes which year to which way which year in the sense 1955 it was started yes 1955 it was started yes till 1975 yes until 1975 is Vietnam War is yes, the duration it is not given in your uh, book children 1955 it was started nine, till 1975 nearly 20 years it was occurred in between United States of America as well as the you know that uh, Russia okay regarding Vietnam okay regarding Vietnam so that's the thing children okay here what is given in the sense uh, you know after the completion of the second world war Viet Minh, Viet Minh is the organization otherwise party like that also we can take okay Viet Minh controlled the northern half of Vietnam okay after the completion of the second world war Viet Minh that's the name of the organization is yes, which was in Vietnam okay it's a uh, controlled it was controlled northern part of Vietnam okay so Viet Minh that's the name of the organization otherwise party it formed a government led by Ko Chi Minh Okay, Ko Chi Minh, uh, you know, when where in the sense Hanoi, yes, this Viet Minh government quickly occupied the southern part of Vietnam also. Initial stage, it had a control over the, uh, you know, the northern Vietnam alone, yes. So, finally, you know, that uh, uh, later, you know, what happened, the Viet Minh party, otherwise Viet Minh government, yes, Viet Minh government, what they did in the sense, they were uh, occupied the southern part of Vietnam also, okay. So that time what happened in the sense uh, in um, you know that uh, Jap Japan okay Japan was occupied into China okay Japan occupied into China yes so they have to uh, you know uh, Japan occupied into, into China no so that time the allied powers okay allied powers in the sense Britain France uh, yes those countries Britain France United States of America those countries are called as allied powers they were decided at Fort Jam okay that the British in the south and the Chinese in the north. Okay, British in the China, British in the south in the sense what is that? Japan, Japanese, you know, they were captured Japan. Okay, after the completion of the second world war, Japan was under the control of allied powers. Okay, already Japan, you know, it had a Indo-China. So, they have to divide Indo-China into two, among whom Britain and China. Britain and China, yes, so that was there. Okay, so but Ko Chi Minh, you know, had established his control, yes, over Indochina, strongly, firmly in the sense, what is the meaning? Strongly, okay, so Japan, you know, surrendered, okay, Japan surrendered, otherwise Japan was totally defeated after the completion of the Second World War. It had Indochina, okay, so they were the allied powers, what they did, you know, they have to share Indochina, yes, they had, they had to share indo china is yes, among themselves so that's what it was happened children but uh coach mean what they did what he did in the sense he established his whole control he strongly he established his control over indo china so this was the reason children okay so in the year 1946 it was happened so the british as well as the chinese troops had to withdraw yes so they were you know the both of them you know the british as well as china later you know they were withdraw from indo china Okay, so the French people as well as Viet Minh let them fight with each other, confront with each other in the sense they let them fight with each other like that they were thought and then they came out who Britain as well as China. Yes, Britain as well as China. So that's the thing it is given here children. Okay, see Ko Chi Minh had established his control over, over Indochina very firmly, firmly in the sense strongly. So in the year it was uh, in the year 1946 it was happened. Okay, the British people as well as Chinese troops had withdraw from Indochina. So, they left uh, to whom? French as well as Viet Minh, you know, let them fight with each other like that they came out. Okay, so in March month, you know, two governments, two governments in the sense French government as well as Viet Minh government reached an agreement. Okay, reached an agreement. What was the agreement in the sense North, Viet North Vietnam, you know, they got independence. They had given the independence to whom north vietnamese okay so within an uh, indo chinese federation but they should be under the control of the indo china okay so it's, uh, it's a thing then uh, you know what is uh, what happened in the sense in the year 1949 yes in the year 1949 the french people this uh, the french people you know uh, make uh, attempted what is the meaning in the sense uh, make an attempt to complete okay make an attempt to 
complete to secure the support of the population. So what is the meaning in the sense here? In order to get the support from the people. Okay, otherwise in order to get the people's support, the French government, they were declared. Okay, so the French government, what they did? In order to get the people's support, the French government, they did, they declared Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, independent within the French Union. But they should be under the French control, but they came, they became independent. Okay, so they like that, you know, they declared, French people declared Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, those uh, countries, those states, you know, they became independent. But within the uh, French Union, what are the things are there in the sense of foreign affairs, foreign affairs as well as the uh, defense, it should be under the French control. They got independence, Laos, Cambodia, Cambodia as well as Vietnam, you know, they declared independence. Okay, they declared independence, but... But, you know, foreign affairs of those countries as well as the defense of those countries uh, should be under the control of France. So, likewise, they told. Okay, so that's the thing. Then, um, the French people, okay, while well, the French, you know, were receiving cancer. So, that time, uh, what was the, what is given in the sense here, uh, the French people, you know, they got a French government, they got a support from United States of America. Okay, aid like that it is given. Is it aid in the sense, what is the meaning, you know, financial aid in the sense, you know, money. Okay, so they re received the money help from America. So the Viet Minh, yes, the Viet Minh is the name of the organization, otherwise party, it's helped by the new China. At the same time, at the same time, you know, the Viet Minh party, yes, the Viet Minh party is supported by whom in the sense a new Chinese communist <coughs> government. Okay, sorry. Here, what is given in the sense of children? What is given in the sense, the French government, you know, they were receiving the support from the uh, United States of America. At the same time, yes, at the same time, the Viet Minh Party, yes, Viet Minh organization, otherwise a party, it was uh, helped by the new Chinese communist government. Okay, so here, you know, the French troops, you know, were eventually defeated. They used to get the uh, financial help from America, even though it was uh, defeated. So, that time, you know, uh, the Geneva Conference uh, yes, was conducted in the year 1954. Yes, Geneva Conference was conducted in the, in the 54, 1954. That, you know, met on Korea and uh, Indochina decided that Vietnam was to be an independent state. Okay, so Indochina, what they did now, you know, the Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and then they got independence, but they are control everything. It should be under that uh, French control like that I said. Is it now France also was uh, defeated? Okay, so Indochina decided that Vietnam was to be an independent state but uh, temporarily divided. Vietnam was independent. It became an independent but you know it was divided into two. Okay, so North Vietnam as well as South Vietnam. North Vietnam, you know, uh, you know uh, who had a control in the sense Viet Minh. Okay, Viet Minh uh, had a control over northern part of Vietnam. At the same time in the southern part, you know, Bao Dai is the name of the person. This person only was the head of the government of South Vietnam. Okay, so Cambodia, Laos and all, again, you know, independent. Okay, Cambodia, Laos, independent. But Vietnam was divided into two. Yes, the northern part of Vietnam was under the control of the Viet Minh Party. At the same time, southern part of Vietnam was under the control of Bao Dai. Okay, like that they were uh, shared okay so with a population of 16 million okay 16 million populations were there in the north vietnam it became a communist state with the ho chi minh as a president okay so this one you know already just before only i told i think so north vietnam it was helped by communist china like that new communist regime like that i said is it so south vietnam you know approximately the same size and population it was ruled by Niho Din Diam. Okay, so how to pronounce this one? Niho Din Diam. So at the same time, North, North Vietnam, it was supported by the communist state. Communist state. At the same time, here who was the ruler in the sense of Niho Din Diam. Yes, so here in the South Vietnam, you know, later it was helped by United States of America. Okay, United States of America. So the governments, you know, the governments of survival in South Vietnam, Vietnam, dependent on increasing amounts of us see just before i told you know the south vietnam you know it was helped by united states of america okay so in the year 90 the war was going on in between you know the vietnam uh, yes in between the vietnam as well as the united states of america it's a cold war okay cold war they did not take any weapons but you know now it's a condition you know totally changed in the year 1965 marines marines in the sense ships 
okay ships you know landed at denang okay denang naval base and there were 33500 us troops united states of america troops you know how much in the sense 33500 us uh, troops in the country within a month so the number you know increased nearly 2 lakhs 10000 by the end of the year the us people what they did in the sense they were bombed both north as well as south vietnam okay you now both north as well as south vietnam so what they thought in the sense initial stage you know that american people they were totally demolished otherwise destructed the liberation forces liberation forces totally they were destructed the liberation forces of vietnam to abandon the struggle so the fighters of northern vietnam you know they were trained in guerrilla affair guerrilla in the sense what is that they used to hide and then attack okay hidden attack so that is called as guerrilla warfare had grown out of spontaneous struggle against the repressive regime okay regime in the sense of rule okay so they sustained their resistance without bowing to the without bowing to the united states of america so they did not uh, you know bow their head towards the united states of america the american troops also used bacteriological weapons bacteriological weapons in the sense like corona virus you know that uh, they used to spread the viruses yes such a weapons by the by bacteriological weapons and all they used moreover incendiary bombs such as nabom yes nabom and agent orange so with the help of these uh, bombs you know what they did in the sense they uh, distracted the total forest cover this yes, total forest cover vast areas of vietnam were devastated totally demolished otherwise destructed and hundreds of thousands of people were killed so the american area the american forces also lot of you know casualties are there yes too many people you know they were suffered they were died they got a injury yes so both sides you know you know destructions are there okay so here you know it is given american bombing of northern vietnam yes now american bombing of northern vietnam yes air strikes were there okay so that's a thing then uh, early part of yes page, page number 47 it is given children early part of 1975 yes 1975 this war you know took a decisive turn yes a significant turn decisive in the sense what is the meaning decisive in the sense significant turn the armies of both uh, north vietnam of the uh, sorry north vietnam and of the national liberation front of south vietnam swept swept in the sense clean across the country okay north vietnam forces as well as south vietnam forces totally it was uh, swept across the country routing the american supported troops of south vietnam okay so south vietnam uh, you know it was supported by uh, america like that i said is it so by 30th april 1975 all the american troops had withdrawn and the capital of south vietnam saigon was liberated saigon in the sense it's the capital of south vietnam okay so it was uh, liberated northern as well as south vietnam were formally is united is united as a one country in the year 1976 see the big country america it got a defeat from the hands of from the hands of a small country vietnam okay so nearly 20 years it was occurred so initial stage it was a cold war okay so the america people the american government you know they need to capture vietnam under their control but vietnam you know it was divided into two north vietnam as well as south vietnam north vietnam is sub it was it was supported by communist ideas communist countries russia china those countries were supported at the same time the southern part of uh, vietnam it was uh, uh, supported it was supported by united states of america okay finally you know america got a defeat from the hands of the small country vietnam yes in the year 1976 you know it was united north vietnam as well as south vietnam uh, was united as a one country okay the city of saigon was renamed as it's very very important children as uh, the city of saigon was uh, renamed as ho chi minh city after the great leader of vietnamese people okay so ho chi minh city it is given here is ho chi minh statue statue also it is given here children okay it's renamed the saigon was renamed as ho chi minh city after the great leader of the vietnamese people so the viet uh, emergence emergence of vietnam as a 
independent as well as united yes united nation was an heroic event okay it's a great event a small country yes vietnam was a small country it got uh, sorry it, uh, it got a support uh, it got a victory succeeded in winning independence and unification in the face of the armed opposition of the greatest power in the world so the help given to vietnam by a socialist country so, so who are the socialist countries supported in the sense of russia as well as china was supported is as well as they got a support from asia as well as african countries and the solidarity expressed by the peoples in all parts of the world helped in achieving this so vietnamese vietnam you know they got a independence they got a independence they were united themselves in one country okay so in the year 1976 it was happen nearly 20 years struggle this one initial stage you know the americans they did not take, uh, take any weapons both side you know they did not take any weapons but in the initial that later part you know they had uh, took a weapons so, you know the war was there nearly 20 years struggle during the time of the cold war so, otherwise after the completion of the second world war okay so this was occurred children the next what is given in the sense uh, you know the next what is given this is not a essay children okay so now 4.9 it's given as yes, a european union european union is very very important as a and as a answer children it's very important answer towards european union okay towards european union the union uh, the main aim of that uh, european union was that integrate yes integrate what is the meaning in the sense unite okay united otherwise joined is yes, which countries and all how to join in the sense uh, western european countries they have to join against the united states of america okay against the united states of america against russia those uh, european countries other european countries they had a you know that uh, they had a, a treaty okay they had a treaty they had a organization so that is called as european union yes so here it is given children one of the momentous decision taken in the post war second as post war in the sense after the completion of the second world war so that era was to integrate integrate in the sense join to unite the states of western europe in doing so the europeans wanted is yes, what are the things they have to do in the sense uh, to prevent is uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes so they have to uh, prevent further european wars yes so many wars they were Uh, faced first world war as well as second world war under that many sub wars were there okay so these wars and all they have to prevent okay by ending the rivalry rivalry in the sense conflict in between france and germany okay so that's the first one then second one you know to create united europe okay to resist any threat from soviet russia <coughs> sorry resist in the sense you know withstand yes they have to withstand united they have to other european countries they have to withstand against the threat of uh, united uh, sorry ussr okay union soviet socialist republic otherwise called as soviet russia okay so third one what is given in the sense uh, you know to form a third force a third force in the sense uh, you know the first country in the sense usa like that they are telling communist country the second you know Uh, you know russia like that they are telling yes a third country is a third balance you know they need yes so to form a third force in the world to counter balance uh, the strength of the united states of america okay and ussr okay so then fourth one to make full use of economic and military resources of europe by organizing them on a continental scale okay so in the year may month 1949 is a 10 countries you know they met in london and signed to form a council of europe nearly 10 countries they in the year 1949 they met in london and they were signed to form a council of europe okay the council of europe you know had its uh, headquarters where it is in the sense strasbourg okay strasbourg was established with a committee of foreign ministers of uh, member countries and a consultative assembly drawn from the parliaments of the foreign countries so what for in the sense council of europe in order to integrate okay in order to unite the countries of western europe against united states of america as well as soviet russia okay so that's the thing the next one european 
coal and steel community coal and steel community see here it is given european defense community and the european coal and steel community were established okay so both you know established how many countries participated in the sense of six countries participated six countries participated okay so who are they in the sense france okay west germany italy belgium holland and luxembourg so these are the countries participated they were belonging to the european s yes, european coal and steel community signed the treaty of rome okay they were signed the treaty of rome which was established the uh, european economic community or the european economic common market common market common currency their currency was called uh, their currency was called as euro yes euro okay with the headquarters at brussels okay brussels where it is in the sense belgium okay then the european economic community european economic community community you know uh, totally it was eliminated eliminated in the sense totally it it was reduced it uh, totally to abolished the barriers yes tadaihal okay barriers to the movement of goods okay among the european countries they can move they can share their goods and commodities services capitals labors everything they can share among themselves so, so that's the thing okay so their barriers that time you know barriers everything they were eliminated okay barriers everything they were eliminated moreover uh, it also prohibited public policies okay prohibited totally it was avoided totally it was banned that's the meaning or uh, private agreements that restricted market okay market competition so a single market was there single currency was there in the market in their market they can they can sell their they can purchase their goods and commodities among the european countries so they need not bother about united states of america as well as the soviet russia so that's what this arrangement then a common agricultural policy and a common external trade policy were increased otherwise evolved otherwise uh, originated yes european common market was a remarkable success so they need not bother about the united states of america as well as the soviet russia so that's what a common market was established among the european countries then a uh, single european act okay single european act you know which year in the sense uh, july yes july 1st 1987 european uh at the single european act was uh, ex, uh you know it came into force so it expanded okay it expanded it significantly expanded the uh european economic community's scope okay european economic community's scope uh, giving the meetings of the european parliament commission a legal basis european parliament you know it has the right to pass the laws is in favor of the european countries so it is called for more intensive coordination of foreign policy among the member countries so according to the yes yes ea yes ea in the sense single european act single european act each member was given multiple votes okay so it's a depending upon the voting right how it is in the sense it's a depending upon the population like that so approval of legislation required roughly two thirds of votes you know for all members two thirds of votes they were expected in the approval of legislation legislation in the sense laws okay the last one what is given in the sense european union yes european union is yes, in netherland yes maastricht treaty was signed okay so netherland treaty otherwise called as maastricht treaty maastricht treaty was signed on february 7 1992 it created the european unions one word answer children yes which under which treaty in the sense under the maastricht treaty otherwise netherland treaty okay it was signed on february 7 1992 it was created okay it was created the european union the monetary policy monetary policy in the sense money policy and the common currency and the common currency that is euro to replace national currencies managed by common monetary institutions were subsequently planned and implemented so same currency single currency like that i said the name of the currency is euro okay euro 
than a single market was there among themselves. Among the European countries today, the European Union has 28 member countries. Yes, its headquarters where it is in the sense Brussels. Okay, Brussels in Belgium. Okay, so this much only children. Yes, European Union, when it was established in the sense 1992, it was established. Okay, it's uh, 2001 only, 2001 only, which uh, currency was introduced in the sense uh, you know that uh, euro currency was introduced okay so these are the things are there children yes uh, children please learn okay so here you know we can mark the questions okay which one in the sense this uh, 4.9 is 4.9 essay second uh, you know second essay i think so narrate the history of uh, transformation of council of europe into an european union okay council of europe into an European Union. So, Council of Europe, is it? So, page number, you can take it the same page, I think so, children. Yes, same page, I think so. Yes, uh, yeah. That uh, A. A part fully marked, that's the Council of Europe. Council of Europe. Yes. Then, European Union para fully marked. Council of Europe. A and E para fully marked, children. Fully market A and E para fully market. Okay, so this much enough children. Okay, yes, uh, this lesson you know the question answers everything you people marked. <coughs> I have to teach 4.10. Okay, remaining everything this lesson fully you can start learning. Okay, already in the last class excluding essay, I asked you to learn everything. This time you know, including essay, everything you have to learn. This lesson fully you should be thorough. Okay, I will teach the next class, you know, 4.10 I will teach. Okay, yes. Then one more children, you know, that uh, the geography part teacher, you know, she started the, you know, annoyingly, she started that uh, history lesson 9. Okay, but already I had completed that. Okay, so the next class onwards, uh, she will teach uh, history lesson 10. Okay, already I had completed 9th lesson. So that's what we had a plan to teach only the 10th lesson alone. So she will teach 10th lesson alone. Okay. So after the completion of this lesson, I have one more lesson also. Okay. That is a history part 5th lesson. Okay. History part 5th lesson I have to teach after the completion of 4.10 from 4th lesson. Okay children. Yes. Children please learn. Don't waste your time. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's very limited days are there. Okay. For the exam. Learn. Okay. Thank you children.